Hi, my name is Lorraine Gilbert, and I'm the author of 52 Bible Lessons, a Bible introduction for children, and I just wanted to take a few minutes and tell you about it. I believe learning about God should not be expensive, so I decided to create a curriculum that really introduces children to the Bible without a high price tag. So what it does is it teaches children to look up the Bible verses, how to find them, gives them an overview of the Bible, and it touches on each book of the Bible, starting at Genesis and going all the way through Revelation, and talking about, briefly, the main stories of the, of the Bible. Um, I did this because I wanted a high quality curriculum at a low cost, and I believe that children were hearing different stories over their course of going attending the church. They were hearing about Noah, and they were hearing about different stories, um, Daniel and the lion's den and things like that, but they had no idea where to find them in the Bible. So this is going back and really helping them understand how the Bible is written and where to find the important stories. For example, if, if you were to take lesson five, this is the student book right here, and this one is pre-printed. You could look up on lesson five, and you would see that the student activity, that there's missing blanks in the table of contents, and how the table of contents is set up between the Old Testament and the New Testament, and how it has the book of law, the book of history, the books of poetry and prophets, the gospels and history, and then the books of letter, and then prophecy. And then the kids would actually look up through their table of contents and fill that in, and they're going to start learning about the books of the Bible right there. Now, the great thing about this curriculum is that you can buy a pre-printed book just like this, or you can buy a CD or a download from our website. And with this CD, you get a copy of this the student workbook and the teacher workbook all together, and it's only $44 all together. Um, in this way, you for your church, you can print as many copies as you need. Um, so if you have five teachers that share this curriculum, you can print the teacher workbook five times. Or if you need to email it to someone because you need a sub for the day, you can do that. If you have 20 kids in your class, you can print it 20 times. If you have 50, 50 times. If you have five, five times. If you have a new student who comes in at the middle of the school year, no problem. Just print them another book. Um, and each lesson does not um, is able to be used separately. So if you have a child coming in um, in the middle of the school year, they'll be fine. But it does start at Genesis and it goes all the way through Revelation. And um, we talk about each book of the Bible as we go. But we take time out so that in August we're talking about back to school and we're doing a blessing of the backpacks and we're doing an overview of how the Bible's set up. And then at Christmas we're talking about Christmas and Easter we're talking about Easter. And then there's other activities so that each major holiday is mentioned. And it's really up to the teacher how much time they spend with those major holidays. So the the other thing is that um, like this is an example of the teacher workbook, and you would just, off the download or the CD, just print as many as you want, and it fits into a normal binder, and it has everything you need. So let's go back to that chapter, that lesson number five that we were looking at earlier. That right there for the teacher um, book is the answer sheet. And if we flip back here to the beginning of the lesson five, that's lesson four. All right. You can see that the first part of here is going to tell you the calendar significance. So anything that's going on with either their school calendar or their church calendar, things like that is going to be mentioned right here. The next thing is going to be a plan ahead so that while you're at church or you're at the building that you're teaching this lesson, that you can make sure that you have enough supplies for the next Sunday or Wednesday night activity or Sunday night activity. And then this part right here is the background. It's a short background about the lesson that you're going to be teaching that day. And then there's a warm-up. And the warm-up is about 15 minutes because, at least at my church, all the students don't come in at the same time. So this gives you a few minutes to get everybody caught up and on the same page. And you can always review the answers at the end. And then the lesson itself. Now this one, this lesson right here on lesson number five is mostly about the New Testament and the Old Testament. So the lesson is planned to take about 20 minutes. And then there's a, um, after the lesson, there's a snack. And for the snack, you have the option to do a snack that relates to the lesson. And that's more of like a Pinteresty type snack. Um, and you're, it's totally optional. You could do um, 
goldfish or vanilla wafers or whatever if that's what you want to do but you do have the option of a fancier snack if that's what you want to do and then at the very end we have a game a craft or an activity at the end of every single lesson so you've got plenty of material to go through one thing I've learned um, being a uh, certified teacher is that if you keep children busy that they behave much better but we don't want them just doing busy work worksheets and things like that that really don't relate to anything we want them to dive into the Bible really learn about the Bible and whatever activity that they're doing um, in a worksheet type form or something like that is related to helping them remember and to understand what your lessons about that day and I just really appreciate your time for listening to me um, I wrote this by Bi this Bible curriculum when um, my own church asked me to teach third grade um, and they had just gotten their Bibles and I was asked to teach an uh, overview of the Bible in the course of the year I looked out there for something that was already created the the uh, curriculum that I was given only had 13 lessons in it and it was really almost impossible to make it last for a year so I looked for something that was already done and I couldn't find it I couldn't find it online and I couldn't find it in the stores and I, so I started preparing four to eight hours every week for my Sunday school lesson, making sure that I was giving them an overview of the Bible. And I thought, you know, if I'm struggling this hard, there's got to be other people struggling too. So that's why I put it together in a professional format. Um, and it's really easy to follow with true five-minute prep. Most of the lessons, you really just have to pick it up and read a few minutes beforehand, and you'll be good to go. Um, most lessons are most lessons have common supplies that you would find at your house or you could find it at your church um, or a local discount store you could use this for a Wednesday night activity a Sunday night activity you could do it for homeschool you could do it for um, a Sunday school class or a children's church it's best for grade for ages 6 through 12 um, if you wanted to go younger than that, you'd probably have to modify the lesson a little bit because you, it's really set about children learning to read. And younger than six years old, they're not reading very well unless you have an advanced class. So, um, and on that disc that I was talking to you about, once again, you can download the teacher edition as many times as you need per church or home. And then you can also download a student copy. And this is a copy of the student. Um, and on that student copy, you can print as many as those as you need. Um, and that way, if they get damaged by water or whatever, it will be fine too. And then if you want, instead of, you know, depending on if you have a copier available at your church and that kind of thing, if it's easier for you to print um, or to have a one that's already printed for you, that is available um, and it's very low cost. You can get a color version of this um, at this time on my website for less than $15 for an entire year. Um, there's also a black and white version that's even less expensive. So um, the curriculum is very low cost, but it's high quality. And I appreciate you listening to this, and I hope it fills a need for you. And if you wouldn't mind, we don't have an advertising budget. So if you could share, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. You have a good day.